So plane sailing is from point A to B, where you have different attitudes. And we assume flat surface because it's for a small, really small distance on the earth up to maximum 600 miles. And the formula, let's see. So if more than 600 miles, use Mercator and great circuit sailing. So formula is cos mean lat is equal to departure upon D long. Now cos m lat is cos mean lat, that is middle latitude of A and B. So A is on 20 degrees and B is on 40 degrees. So middle that is 20 plus 40, 60 divided by 2 is 30 degrees. So 30 degrees is the mean latitude of this. Now, if you are in the same hemisphere, you require the take the arithmetic mean. And if you are different hemisphere, you take the difference and then divide by two and name them as per that. So we have to use a quadrantal course in plane sailing. That is our north, south and east, east, west component. So we have to denote them in either from north or south and east and west. So this is the quadrantal course. That is in which quadrant of your compass this course is coming. It is measured either from north or south and ending with east or west. So you can see this example 240. So it's south 60 degrees west from 180 and 330 if you is here. So 330 is north 30 degrees west. So in the plain sailing triangle, we have the D lat difference of latitude which is north south departure. That is the difference in longitude that is east west at that latitude and distance and course that we have to find out. So difference of latitude is this one that is D lat and this is your departure between A and B and that is this is your plane sailing triangle. So D lat is north because we are moving north and departure will be east because we are moving eastwards. Now from uh, light angle triangle formula, we can uh, put in the formula sine course is equal to departure upon distance, cos course is equal to D light upon distance and tan course is equal to departure upon D light. So that's all about plane sailing, then we can solve the questions.